Yeah, so uh, not around this time, but what I am going to discuss is exactly what's going to occur when I speak to Silent University. And what I'm going to do is ask how this could be used, how could sound be used, what ways could it be focused on people, uh, what ranges it could be used, what would entail it being used in that fashion, what damage it would do, um, how it could be detected, which I've done myself with the simplest detection on a phone app as well. Yeah, which is quite interesting. Which no doubt they've been trying to scurry around to try and make it happen. Now. But what it does pick up is various things that you might find amusing. Now I have got evidence of this. Uh, I've already proved this, and it's known the world over. It's already been outlawed. But we're going to go and have a nice chat anyway with the experts. Irrefutable proof that if this was used there, how could it be modified to use at a greater distance? What would happen if a building was surrounded with, let's say, scaffolding? Not that I understand the idea of resonance or anything else or the fact that it might carry infrared radiation along with it you now what would that do to the human body it's not like you know foam masks etc were actually taken to court because they were causing cancer and things like that cancer mm. one point of thyroid i still haven't investigated for that part of over well, almost two years now you know with all the symptoms that occur with it not hypothyroidism, as people seem to be gobbing off about. Well, how would I hear that? Well, yeah, obviously because of... Now, it's interesting, isn't it? I'm looking forward to proving this. Now, when there's experts, and these are independent experts, explain what's happened. I wonder what else certain people's lack of remembrance on their uh, human biology, and how cells work, and how the body works. Maybe people who study other like, sports science might understand things like Huxley's sliding filament theory, etc. Or understand the endocrine system or the lymphatic system or various other things and what it will be is a very very informative discussion hopefully uh, with their permission I'll be filming it as well either or I'll have it written down categorically or I'll have it filmed and written down I think I'll have both actually that'll be better won't it? because that will prove certain things that are so sadistic that these people are basically well they weaponized the sound now that is the actual truth now, Sarah Jane, I don't care whether you believe it or not, it's just the truth. I don't care whether your little idiot friends believe, and they are idiots, arrogant, interfering, home-wrecking people. Now, I believe you'll find that when this comes out properly, which it has done already on social media and in the media, these people will be held up to rights. Now, I do not give a flying monkeys about any of them. Do you understand me? I'm being very clear, very open, very honest. I've not been aggressive at any point like you were trying to have me prompted to do during 2021. All the lies and rubbish that you were trying to do, trying to make me act in a way, all the things, oh well I didn't do this and didn't do that, the child social services worker said, but then I wasn't allowed to, was I? Because a certain other idiot was trying to take all, all your time. What was it? Nine hours I spent with you in a half term during, was it May, June time? Yeah. Funny enough, the same idiots who didn't like the fact that when we lived in St. Andrew Close, I said, well, hold on, mate, you spend every day, Monday to Friday there, for about two, three hours in the evening. I'd actually like to spend some time with my wife and children, if that's allowed. But then that was investigated as well, because it wasn't allowed. Have we done something wrong? No, we're just spending time together as a family. Roughly after the incident, when certain people's hmm, breasts may have flopped out in front of a minor. But that wasn't actually looked at either, because that's not apparently a criminal offence. Over the various other things that seem to be uh, overlooked by the constabulary. I wonder where members of the stab we train. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not digging at you, mate. I'm just pointing out certain things. You have no rights. Your arrogance is unbelievable. Oh, well, I'm this to your children. No, you're not. You were my mate, and that was it. I allowed you into my life near my family. And you overstepped the boundaries that no one else has. You stood in my living room and shook my grandfather's hand. I think my grandfather would be shaking something at the moment, but it certainly wouldn't be your hand, it would be more like your neck. Lovely. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you. Now, I'm in a town that supports me and knows I've told the truth because they've seen the evidence. I've got handwritten statements. This is all evidence, and it's all going to go to court. Sick and tired of listening. Well, you know, why, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why don't I do what? Stand up for my rights as a British citizen. A husband and a father whose life was ripped apart and family tore apart because arrogant people around think they know better. Oh, but it's they didn't realise it's happening, they didn't believe you. Why? I had a clear bill of mental health. I've still got a clear bill of mental health. No one can understand when they speak to me why it is I'm out on the street like this. 
Come on, Sarah Jane, wake up. Show you the honourable woman I married. Show you the honourable woman who gave birth to our children. Show our children the right way to do things. Yeah? Because you're not at the moment. You're showing the wrong way. You're showing the malicious way how to use children, how to lie to courts, how to lie to people, how to lie to them. You're showing them a Hindu involving drug taking in a pub, which is what it was, don't lie about it, was more important than showing your children the right way to do it. I don't regret being with you, so at any point, I don't regret marrying you, I don't regret having children with you. I do regret not grabbing other scumbags you were talking to rather than the people who actually should have been spoken to and discussing our lives. These idiots have their own agendas. Oh, we're doing what's best for you and the children. No, you haven't. You haven't done anything that's best for anyone. Not yourself, not the children, but for them. So they can sit back and say, see, we did this to help you out. Blah, blah, blah. You don't owe them anything. I, on the other hand, owe them a lot and they're going to get it paid in full with interest. If you think that's some sort of threat, and it proves that what you wear, you're not deserving of. See you soon, mate.